hey guys welcome back to my channel so i decided i was going to do like one of my old school channel love letters from your divine masculine so first we're going to pull some cards talk about what comes up and this is going to be from the person on your mind okay so we're going to tap into their energy it's been quite a while since i've done one of these um okay so we're going to start off with the tarot this right here is going to be the overall energy of what your person is currently feeling, okay? So we have a lion here for Leo season and the lion's gate coming up. And energy has been very intense lately. And this table is moving. So, okay. Let's get your person's overall energy towards the connection. I wanted one card. The devil was here. Let's, I just want one. What is your person's overall energy towards the connection right now? I'm still getting a bunch. I'm going to just take this one right here. We have the four of swords. Okay, so taking a break, trying to get mental clarity. There could be space between you guys right now. Um, really trying to get their mind straight perhaps a lot of things went down with you guys and they just don't have the clarity that they need right now so there's definitely a break in communication all right so let's get their thoughts feelings and actions towards you okay And I'm just going to, um, they are going to take action here with the King of Wands. I'm going to um, probably do the channeled letter first, and then we'll get into the analysis here. Okay. Or we'll see, we'll see. Okay. So, I didn't show you guys, but we had thoughts, Seven of Swords. This is like mental trickery, the fool reversed, and the king of wands for action. Okay. You have fantasy, dreams, fairy tale, imagination, intimacy. Whoa. Okay. This person's like sacral is lit here. And longing. Oh my God, you guys. Aching, pining, past love. Okay. Let me just kind of do this so you guys can see these better. Okay. All right. I'm going to get like five of these. All right. Okay, and then I'm gonna get now even if your person isn't in here, this doesn't mean you're not being represented in this reading, to be honest. I don't have this full deck. So whatever comes up, just take it with a grain of salt. I just wanted to see if I could get some signs or letters here. We have A. Capricorn, um, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, a lot of A, everything's A, Z, A to Z, okay, so that's telling me we have Gemini again, and then let's get one more, L, okay, Okay, let's get a channeled message from your person here. All right. I haven't done this in a while, guys, so bear with me, okay? I feel so drawn to you, like I've never felt with anyone before. Oh my God, I said drawn and I didn't even read this. I can't explain why. It's like almost like we're forbidden or perhaps we were forbidden in a past life. There's feels like all these things um, 
coming between us. Um, I can't seem to make this move that I want to make towards you. This is what I'm thinking about, but things just keep coming up. And I feel like things keep coming up in your life too. I feel like I'm connecting with you in this like ethereal space, this 5D. And it's like, I can feel your energy. I can feel your body. I can feel your you with me, like sexually. Um, I feel like in any spare time that I have, I'm just longing for this intimacy with you. This is all I think about. I wasn't honest with you. I feel like if I come forward, I'm going to have to tell you the truth. I'm going to have to just bear my soul. And this is a level of intimacy I've never had before. To be honest, I've only ever had toxic relationships, but this one is different. It's like, I need you, but in this way where we bring out the best in each other. I'm constantly thinking about you. I am definitely going to be messaging you here. I should have told you sooner. If I could have, I would have. I would have told you how much you mean to me. I would have told you how much I desire you. I would have told you how I felt this connection too. I want to communicate with you. I want to move things forward. I want you to know how much I feel. I have secrets. I have things that I haven't told you, like I said. I hid something from you and I'm afraid to tell you about it. There's things about me that you don't know. You think you know me completely, but you really don't. I need this time to think about things. I need this time to get my mind straight. Yep, I'm confused. This whole thing is throwing me for a loop. I wasn't anticipating a spiritual connection like this. I wasn't anticipating me and my soulmate and you. Um, it's like when I'm with you or sometimes even when I'm not with you, I get these like hits of deja vu where I feel this like familiar feeling, like memories pop up from the past. It, I think of you when I'm in my bed at night, like I lay in my bed and I'm dreaming of you, fantasizing about you, wondering if you feel the same. I'm scared that it's over. I'm scared that there's a way, there's no way that I can revive this connection. You've taught me so much. I'm just really reevaluating everything I thought before. I don't want this to end. I'm terrified of this ending. <sighs> there's this mysterious connection with us and I haven't told you everything and I kind of feel like you haven't told me everything. There's like this mysterious element to you that really draws me back over and over again. I'm so conflicted. I don't know how to make things right, but I want to make things right. I want to have this reunion with you. I want to have this strong foundation with you. I see you as my spiritual counterpart. All right, guys, this is 11.11, and we have spiritual connection here. So that is the message for you guys. I hope it helps. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do more of these. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.